I myself, Dr. Koshik Chakramurti, a practicing physician and diabetologist in the, uh, from northern part of Kolkata. Today, I will <clears throat> discuss a bit about hypertension. Uh, it's a very common term. We all, everybody have heard it. Uh, everyone has some amount of idea about hypertension. But what science says, what is the scientific evidence that we have, we will discuss a bit about it today. Now, our today's discussion will be on high blood pressure and how to prevent this high blood pressure. Uh, what is high, what is blood pressure? First of all, we have to understand this. Uh, our heart pumps out some amount of blood, our heart pumps out blood, and that ejected blood produces some pressure on the elastic arterial wall, and that is what our blood pressure is. Whenever we talk about blood pressure, we have, we are used to hear two numbers, 120, 80, 130, 90, 160, 100. What are those numbers? <clears throat> Above one is systolic blood pressure and the below one is diastolic blood pressure. What is systolic blood pressure? Systolic blood pressure is when pressure exerted by the ejected blood, when the heart is in systole or contractile mode. And what is diastolic blood pressure? It is the pressure that is exerted by blood on the arterial wall when the heart is in resting phase in between systole and uh, in between contract in between two heart sounds when the heart is in resting phase at that point of time the, that pressure that is exerted on arterial wall is diastolic blood pressure so 130 80 means 130 is the systolic blood pressure and 80 is the diastolic blood pressure what are the risk factors for hypertension what is hypertension when blood pressure goes beyond normal limit, we call it hypertension. And when blood pressure comes down and patient becomes symptomatic, then we call it hypotension. What is hypertension? When blood pressure goes more than 140 by 90, we call it hypertension. And at the below level, when blood pressure uh, uh, any pressure, it is not necessarily 90 by 60 or 90 by 70 sort of thing. Even if it is 90 by 60 and patient is not complaining, patient has no symptom, then it is not hypertension. If it is 90 by 50, patient has no problem, then it is not hypertension. But if it is 100 by 70 and patient is complaining of uh, dizziness and vertigo and um, uh, other uh, discomforts, then we will accept it as hypertension. Mm. So hypotension is relatively a bit uh, dubious terminology, but hypertension has no doubt. If your blood pressure is more than 140 by 90, you have to initiate medication. Now the thing is, uh, what are the factors uh, which promotes high blood pressure? You all know about this. Uh, always you talk about this. Don't smoke. Have unhealthy habit. Don't get fat. Don't be overweight. So these are the factors. Sedentary lifestyle, overweight, smoking, alcoholism, excess junk food, which reduces, which increases uh, your weight and not only weight, which increases your, um, uh, your, your, your coronary atherosclerotic, your atherosclerotic uh, component as well. So it, it leads to um, even, more, uh, even uh, more complicated hypertension. These are the direct things that we all aware of. What are the indirect component uh, which promotes hypertension? That is age. With the age, with increasing age, there is always higher chance of uh, development of hypertension. Family history. If somebody has positive family history, then he or she is more likely to develop hypertension. Excess salt intake. That is a very detrimental habit. You should. You should control it from the very beginning of your life. Excess salt means daily requirement of salt is 4 grams per day. 
Excess of salt means anything more than four grams. How to measure it? We cannot measure salt. It is very simple. Just do not add any extra salt with your food. Whenever you are consuming food, just do not add any extra salt. Just use that amount of salt, that amount of salt which is required to make your food tasty. That's all. And please do not take uh, more salty junk foods, which which which, which is almost sodium loaded and uh, loaded with um, uh, unsaturated um, uh, uh, saturated fat and trans fat. So please uh, avoid those kind of foods. Uh, what are the signs and symptoms? How do I identify uh, uh, hypertension? It's very easy. I mean, patient often feel that patient is having a neck pain. Patient is having a pain at the back of the head, a bad headache. Uh, patient uh, may feel uh, vertigo. The patient may feel dizzy. Sometimes patient may feel nauseating, excessive sweating. In different mode, patient can present to you. But all these are suspicion. All these should raise your eyebrow. Uh, am I not dealing with or possibly this person of my family is having hypertension, which is till now unnoticed. It should always raise your eyebrow. That is very important. Next, if you think that it is hypertension, what to do, how to measure it? It's very simple. Nowadays, it is not very complicated because uh, previously it was sphygmomanometer, which was uh, mercury component was there. Nowadays, it is not. Uh, permit, permissible anymore. So easily you can measure it with the help of ambulatory digital manometer. Digital manometer. You have no need to hear it. You have you can just see. Just use that uh, particular uh, small machine, and you can get the reading. If you get it more than hundred by hundred forty by ninety, you should should talk to your doctor because uh, uh, that means you are dealing with your family member has developed hypertension if it is roaming around hypertension that means uh, nearing 140 90 level uh, 135 136 sort of domain then also you should talk to your doctor because uh, a mere change in lifestyle a mere change in your food habit mere change in your um, uh, exercise can reduce the chance of development or progression of this prehypertension to hypertension. So this delay can be done with timely intervention. On May 17th, we celebrate World Hypertension Day. That is a day that has to be remembered. A day dedicated to highlights the importance of monitoring of blood pressure and bringing global awareness to 1 billion people living with high blood pressure worldwide, 1 billion people. The theme of this year's World's Hypertension Day is measure your pressure, control it, and live longer. It is as simple as that. You all know if you do not control your blood pressure, the end result is very poor. You may end up with stroke. You may end up with uh, cardiac um, complications. You may end up with kidney complications. Anything can take place. So to control your blood pressure, what you have to do? Just regular exercise. Have a control on your weight. Change your lifestyle. Healthy diet is very important. Uh, binge eating, uh, foods saturated with trans fat should be avoided. Uh, just do not, uh, I mean, you, you uh, zero tolerance with smoking. Uh, it is absolutely not tolerable to smoke even a single fag a day. So um, absolute intolerance towards smoking. Uh, one more thing that we have started to talk about, uh, that is uh, stress management. It's very, very important nowadays because uh, people are getting busy, people are getting overburdened, and they are overstressed and uh, possibly you won't believe that most of the doctors are overstressed. And many of the doctors are dying at early age because of this stress, sudden cardiac arrest, 
sudden cerebrovascular accident, this sort of things taking place. So because this is this stress management is very important and this is a completely different uh, issue altogether. I am just letting you know that stress management is an important component to control your hypertension. So how to manage stress, that is a completely different issue and we can discuss it in a different fashion. And it is very important to adhere to your medicine. Once you have achieved the target, it does not mean that you are getting you, you are declared cured of the disease. You, you are still hypertensive. You are still hypertensive, but with the help of medication, you are in good state of health. Uh, please never ever uh, stop your medicine. If you see that your blood pressure is in normal range, so adherence to the medicine is very important. Uh, to control your blood pressure and reduce the risk related to hypertension. Healthy diet is another important thing that I was speaking. What is healthy diet? Uh, if you search Google, you will find dash diet. You will find eating less saturated fat, eating less uh, um, a lesser amount of trans fat. How to understand, how to find out trans fat? All half-baked food all half-baked food are trans fat, full of trans fat. Your cookies, biscuit, your uh, uh, patties, uh, pizza, all these half-baked foods are full of trans fat. So please do not use half-baked foods. Avoid it as much as possible. What is DASH diet? DASH means... Um, it's full, I mean, it's whole grain, fruit, vegetable, fiber rich diet. That's done. Uh, it lowers down the uh, development of chance of development of hypertension. It is proved. Mm. What is the full form of DASH? That is very important. The DASH diet means dietary approach to stop hypertension. DASH, dietary approach to stop hypertension. So from the name, you can assume that this particular diet, which consists of whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy products, how important these foods are to control your blood pressure. Reduced sodium, I have already talked about. I am not going to it again. Reduced reduction of sodium is very important. Uh, uh, four grams of uh, salt is allowed every day for an adult and how to control that salt I have already spoken about it you should remember just hammer it in your brain that do not use any extra salt whenever you are eating food just do not go with extra salted half-baked food these are poisonous extra salted half-baked food means full of trans fat loaded with sodium. So these are meant to destroy us. So please don't go with these foods. Regular blood pressure monitoring is very important. Just it will let you know, it will give you that confidence that yes, you are doing well. Yes, your doctor is prescribing whatever the medicine that he or she has prescribed for you is working properly and you have no need to talk to your doctor immediately. So it gives you more confidence Adherence to the medicine is very, very important. And uh, lastly, I should say that uh, there is nothing more precious than having a fit and healthy life. Adaptive, adapting a healthy life is it's a very lucrative thing, but it's a very difficult thing. High blood pressure can be prevented as well as controlled in many ways. Keeping blood pressure in normal range is very, very important. No doubt about it. Uh, and to monitor, to keep, keep your blood pressure normal, you have to do all those things that I have spoken about for last 10 minutes. Uh, it is very much possible to maintain normal blood pressure level with regular monitoring, regular exercise, proper healthy food, no smoking, stoppage of alcohol, uh, and of course, your stress management. All these provides all these provides a good, healthy life, controlled pressure, 
and longer longer uh, increases your longevity so i will conclude with this sentence that have a healthy life have a healthy heart with with your normal blood pressure with your normal with your better quality lifestyle and your um, regular exercise your stress management um, so enjoy your life with your with a good health all of us those who have born everyone has to die no no doubt about it but the fact is as long as we live it's very important to live a healthy fit physically fit life so with that i conclude for today thank you